Hey YouTube, this is Rogonats1 here, and I'm here to do a DC sneak preview view for Batman. So this continues from Zack Snyder's um, story on Endgame, and basically establishes a world without Batman, and um, a world where Batman is dead, and basically um, the Powers Corporation basically are trying to create their own version of Batman. And um, they basically enlist the enlist um, Jim Gordon to become Batman. And this is very, very interesting in and of itself, um, with Jim Gordon becoming Batman. Um, it's a it's a very different take. The costume itself is very different from um, what's come before it, um, and it's just a very, very interesting book in general. Um, personally, I feel as if um, as if Batman being dead is just kind of rolling my eyes at the minute. Um, the thing is, with Batman being dead, is, um, Grant Morrison all, has already kind of covered, um, Batman being dead. Now, whilst we never had Jim Gordon becoming Batman, which is really, really interesting in and of itself, because of the close relationship that Jim Gordon had with Batman, um, my problem is with Batman being dead is it's kind of a been there done that kind of story and unless they're going to keep Batman dead for a few years fine if you're not going to do that then don't kill off Batman obviously we know that Batman and Superman is coming and, and that's a story that's going to be in the, in the future. And, uh, and Batman v Superman is a movie that's coming out next year, rather. But don't kill off Batman if you're not going to keep it consistent. Otherwise, you're rehashing yet another story plot. And it gets kind of annoying. Um, Zack Snyder, um, Scott Snyder is very much inspired by Grant, Grant Morrison's run then. So it was kind of foreseeable that this was going to happen. But I like the idea of Jim Gordon being Batman. And I think when DC Collectibles does, does the toy version, it's going to be really, really interesting. Um, All in all, um, this is definitely an issue that I'm very much interested in. Um, it's a fresh look at Batman, um, and I do think it's a worthwhile title to pick up. 